hear me out? Hi, Kai. Are you doing? Are you excited to see your stairs? Yes. How about you? Good. Wait, hey, wait. Alright, hold on. It's almost there. It's almost there. Come over here. Okay, you ready? Ooh, here it comes. There it is. yourself tell you tell us about your son well, my name is Pat Simmons I'm Kainoa's dad um, and I'm Brandy I'm Kainoa's mom and Kainoa's three years old and he um, was born very premature uh, at 28 weeks we still don't know why it was unexplained prematurity um, and uh, he developed a condition um, uh, well, not developed it. He suffered two brain bleeds within the first um, week of life. They're not exactly sure when. So, um, Creamy's born before, uh, my understanding is 32 weeks or, or very low birth weight, which is usually below three pounds, or at high risk for um, brain bleeds because there's a part of the brain that isn't developed. The blood vessels aren't developed. Can you play with me? Oh, kind of In a few minutes, buddy. playing with you. Um, so, he had two brain bleeds. It's, uh, grade one through four. One is the least severe and four is a hemorrhagic stroke. It means the blood actually um, went into brain tissue. So Kainoa had a three on his left and a four on his right, which is a hemorrhagic stroke. Um, and then he developed hydrocephalus, um, which uh, um, can result from any type of traumatic brain injury. Some people are just born with hydrocephalus, um, but that's where the fluid, the cerebral spinal fluid, um, collects in the brain, uh, in the ventricles of the brain. So he had his first surgery um, to put in a reservoir when he was two weeks old. He was two pounds at the time. And then we had to wait for him to weigh about four pounds to get his um, uh, permanent shunt. Uh, they tried to do another, see if he was a candidate for another procedure um, where maybe you don't need a shunt. It's called an ETD CPC, and, um, but he wasn't a candidate. So he has a shunt, a VP shunt, um, that's lifelong, and um, a lot of people don't realize, but with shunts you have to be very careful because they can malfunction at any time. They have the highest um, malfunction rate of almost any medical device. 
So some, it's not uncommon to see teenagers who have had hundreds of brain surgeries. Um, and yeah, he also has um, his prematurity and uh, brain injuries put him at high risk for other things, including visual impairment, um, a brain-based visual impairment um, called cortical visual impairment. Uh, and uh, if he has that CBI, uh, and then um, he also has autism, um, which preemies and kiddos with certain brain injuries um, are at really high risk for. Um, and he also has something called porn cephaly, where the grade four IVH, the brain bleed, um, it didn't just damage the brain tissue, it actually kind of ate away at it. So um, there are kids who, people who have a porn cephaly congenitally or because of what he has, it's a very rare condition, but that comes with other risk factors as well. So it's a very, it's a serious neurological condition. So that's a long <coughs> one, but <laughs> I don't know. And for anyone out there that has children that have this condition, what can they do for help or where can they go to? Um, there's a great uh, Facebook page, um, uh, hy uh, Hydrocephalus Group, um, and uh, a lot of really great resources there. I think there's almost 10,000 members um, and um, a lot of great information because it really just depends on where you live and the resources that you have access to. Mm -hmm. um, but early intervention is key if you have a diagnosis at a young age, trying to get them into physical therapy and occupational therapy and, and trying to, um, you know, minimize maybe if possible any, um, you know, consequences from the um, brain injuries. But, um, you know, some parents, they can do everything and they're still going to be pretty severe disability. So, yeah. You don't want to make parents feel like it's, they didn't do enough. So, this, I think support and then early intervention as much as possible. Okay. Um, any other advice that you'd like to give to any other parents out there? Uh, think po always be positive. Um, do as much as you can for for your child and. and my wife is just like super, I mean, she's just all over it all the time, you know, just trying to find that next group or that next, you know, support and for our son, you know, and just reaching out, which she does really well at. And if anyone would like to reach out to you, do you have an email that they can contact you at? Yeah, I can give you uh, my email, um, golf and pat, so G-O-L-F, the letter N, and then P-A-T, 78, at yahoo.com. So golf and pat, 78, at yahoo.com. All right. Well, it's great making those stairs for you, too. Uh, thank and you so much, Ty. You're welcome. Those stairs are amazing. Uh, we've been thinking about it since we first met you. Um, and, kind of, this is going to be such a... Such a, it's such a blessing. Just thank you so much again. You're welcome. And I, I think that's one important thing for parents as well is sometimes maybe you you can't think positive because it is, you know, it, it's maybe not the time for it. <laughs> um, it's a time to grieve or a time to, you know, just be and, you know, process things and, um, and that's okay too. And but know that, you know, with everything, um, all the stressors that might come with having a child with complex medical needs or developmental delay, with brain injury, um, that help and support will show up in sometimes really unexpected places. And that it's okay to not have all the answers and to struggle with some things. Um, weren't finding the right piece of equipment for Kainoa, um, but magically, <laughs> you know, and there's things, there are things, so many things that insurance just doesn't cover, <laughs> or if it does, they don't cover enough, and any parent of a child with developmental or complex medical needs knows that, um, and, you know, yeah, so it's okay not to be so positive, but... Um, maybe even in those moments, knowing that there's some really um, incredible people 
that you haven't even met yet that'll help out and it'll be life changing. But yeah. Not just the piece of equipment, but also just that feeling. Yeah. Of this is kind of support. So, yeah, thank you, Ty. You're thank welcome. You, Ty. Can you say thank you to Mr. Ty? Thank you, Mr. Ty. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ty.